Okay, so hello everyone. Um, how do you say that in Filipino? Uh, magandang hapon. Pilipinas. Pilipinas. Ako si Binibining Hana. At ikinalulugod ko kayong... <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> It's so difficult for me to speak in Filipino, although I am a full blood, I'm not a full blooded Filipino, but I have, was raised in born as Philippines. Anyway, we are here now at Taal Batangas, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I am wearing a very strange outfit. I mean, it's a beautiful outfit, but it's strange because I'm wearing a t shirt underneath this uh, Maria Clara top, and I'm wearing um, my rubber shoes. And leggings underneath my beautiful skirt but yeah anyway we are here at the Albatangas and Taal is actually known to be a heritage town um, it's full of culture it's rich in um, history of course so there are a lot of history in this place back in 1700 in the Spanish colony and the invasion of the Spaniards so you'll see a lot of ancestral houses and a lot of that stuff here old stuff so I just figured that maybe while exploring this place and taking a tour, I should probably immerse myself in the culture more and try to bring myself back to the times of the Spanish invasion in the Philippines. Is that what it's called? Come with me as I gain strange looks from strangers. Laurel Fishport here at Batangas and right in front of me we have a clear view of the famous Taal volcano and Taal Lake of course. Whew, it's quite hot. Okay, fun fact. All my life I've always I've always believed that the the crater or the volcano that erupted is But turns out it's not. That's the one. As you can see, uh, the volcano right now is very, it's brown and ashen and empty because, well, it erupted, of course. So, like, the fire, the lava spilled out of the crater and stuff and wreaked havoc. And yeah, there's no plant left, there are no greeneries left. No trees left. That explains why it's already brown and ashen right now. It's quite hot because we're near the lake. And as you've seen, all the roads we've been in so far, we've passed by so far, those are the cities or the municipalities, the towns that were greatly affected by the eruption of the Al Volcano because the volcano is really near. Sorry, <laughs> we are here now at a well-known restaurant here at Taal. It's called Don Juan. What's good about this restaurant is that you can eat in a brutal fat fight type of thing. So like basically there's a huge banana leaf that will be placed on your table and then you can eat there. I've done that before. I've done that a couple of times without the camera but I'm gonna do it again because it's really really such a fun way of eating and and I'm quite excited to explore the alley guys because this is a heritage town if you if you don't know this is a heritage town so like there are a lot of buildings that are old 
a lot of structures that still have Spanish architecture because if you don't know, uh, the Spaniards colonized the Philippines for like 300 years, so they have an old window. That's called Cappy's Shell. Okay, so now our poodle fight is here and we're gonna eat. They actually have lots and lots of food. We have fish, bangu, pork, squid, tahong, uh, pork barbecue, and they, uh, we have java rice underneath all of it, and okra, and some fruits, achara, of course. This tilapia is from Taalik. Pangutana na ko siya. Dati kanto sa Taal. Budo fight is originally from the Philippines, so uh, it started with the military since um, they have like ration. What they do is they group together and then they put all of their food in one big banana leaf so that everyone can share. So basically, budo fight it symbolizes unity and and brotherhood. And that's what we're doing today. Look. Ta-da! So we are here at this part of Taal that is filled with toko uh, outfits. I don't know what it's called, but I feel like these are all called like cultural souvenir shops. So they have these, they have embroidery, they have Filipiniana clothes. They have these traditional costumes, Barong Tagalog, and you know, the dresses with butterfly sleeves if you're familiar with that so this bag is made of rattan it's actually kind of cute i kind of want to buy it So we ended up buying two bags and keychains and pouches. This is like the best place to shop, you guys. It's way cheaper than the mall. And like they have a lot of products that I cannot find anywhere. 1960s. So apparently, the owner of this shop that we just bought from has been selling native products and traditional clothes and embroidery and stuff since 1960s. They have been selling these since the 1960s. That's awesome. That's super awesome. They uh, Usually the people here have been um, supplying big Philippine brands that usually can be found in the mall so they are suppliers and they can some only be found here at the aisle probably that's awesome that is called a balisong so if you guys don't know Taal is actually the capital of Balisong in Barong Tagalog. I saw it a while back and Balisong is, I think in English, it's called Butterfly Knives. They have huge Balisong here. They have like small butterfly knives. It can almost be called a keychain but it's still sharp. Oh, 
Madam. Yan po ang Maria Clara. Ayan. Tapos talagyan po natin ang boots para maganda po. Okay, so here's what's happening. Just to give you guys a little context because I feel like you're confused as to what's happening right now. But uh, here's what's happening. Ito po, Madam. I'm currently in the middle of the this market. Kasya ba? Kasya. Apo, Madam. Luag pa po kay Ma'am. It's called the Maria Clara. And what's happening is I'm trying to search for like a whole Maria Clara traditional outfit so that I can walk around in this heritage town wearing traditional clothes. But I don't know how this will pan out. searching for an outfit that I can wear in Davao City and here because I'm trying to do something cool here. Subscribe mo yan! Bye po! Bye! Okay, so now we have the full outfit. Kinda. Kinda look weird because I have like a shirt underneath and I'm wearing rubber shoes and the leggings is right there but um Okay, so this is my plan. I'm gonna walk around Taal. This town is a heritage town. I'm gonna walk around looking like this. Now, it sounded like a good idea to me like an hour ago because I was imagining what I would look like, but right now I just look very strange. I'm like a time traveler. That I'm like a time traveler. <laughs> Let's walk around Taal looking like a weirdo. Let's see how many people stares at me weirdly. So that right there is what they call the tapa of Taal. So apparently Taal is actually quite popular uh, for their tapa. And that's, that's their tapa. That's the tapa of Taal. That's the tapa of Taal. Sari sari ang kanyang mga ingredients. Ano po ingredients? Ah, may kalamansi, konting sugar, ah, pepper. Ayo yung soy sauce. Caka mm. pinaka importante yung garlic. Ah. Kailangan mas madami yung garlic. Okay. So, Para mas mabango siya. So she's been selling 27 years. <laughs> So they have this thing called nilupak right here and it's basically just mashed sweet potato. So this is 20 pesos. Oh, amazing! Amazing! Hi! Do you want a sorte? Yes! 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 Yes!
here at Minor Basilica of St. Martin of Tours. So this church was actually built back in 1575. Did you hear that right? It was built at 1575, which is like hundreds of years ago. And it's still standing until now. It's actually very beautiful. It's really tall. And you can almost imagine how this building looked like back in, you know, when it first was built. And it's beautiful. The outside is very beautiful. Let's see the interior if it's as beautiful as the outside. Let's go. It's absolutely beautiful. Kevin House. Of the dust in the house. I release. That is Kevin. That's Kevin and he's a kid here at the church and he's selling Tawilis, which is a delicacy here in Tao. And he actually um our family friend who is from Batangas and who we've been staying with for the past few days told us that he has the natural, pure, authentic, I don't know what it's called, Batangueño accent and he speaks like a true Batangueño and he's been selling uh, the wheelies for since 12 midnight until now. Now it's, I think it's in the middle of the afternoon and he's still here so we bought some of his uh, products and now we're gonna go. I feel it taking control